Welcome back everyone and today we're looking at the use of AI in game development. So I've spent a little bit of time a little bit of time on the uh, r slash AI game dev subreddit. Um, this was prompted initially by this post here which is now almost a month old um, but it seems like it's had this entire community in a little bit of a a little bit of a tizzy uh, since this came out. Um, and it's all about uh, Valve's um, policy towards AI-generated content on Steam. So we're just going to go through this a little bit, and then I'm going to talk about my own opinions for this uh, afterwards. So uh, post here by uh, PotterHarry97 starts with, uh, Hey all, I tried to release a game about a month ago with a few assets that were fairly obviously AI-generated. I'd be curious to see what these assets are when they say fairly obviously AI-generated. My plan was to just submit a rougher version of the game with two to three asset sprites that were admittedly obviously AI generated from the hands and to improve them prior to actually releasing the game as I wasn't aware Steam had any issues with AI generated art. I received this message. Hello. While we strive to ship most titles submitted to us, we cannot ship games for which the developer does not have all the necessary rights. After reviewing, we have identified intellectual property in, insert game name here, which appears to belong to one or more third parties. In particular, it contains art assets generated by artificial intelligence that appear to be relying on copyrighted material owned by third parties. As the legal ownership of such AI-generated art is unclear, we cannot ship your game while it contains these AI-generated assets. Unless you can affirmatively confirm that you own the rights to all the IP used in the datasets that train the AI to create the assets in your game. We are failing your build and will give you one one opportunity to remove all content that you do not have rights to from your build. If you fail to remove all such content, we will not be able to ship your game on Steam and this app will be banned. Uh, and then, so the developer says, I improved these pieces by hand so there were no longer any obvious signs of AI, but my app was... Okay, so this is... Uh, sorry, I'm just going to interject here. This is this person, I guess, not understanding what Valve told him to do. I improved these pieces by hand so there were no longer any obvious signs of AI, but it was all... He says, it was probably already flagged for AI-generated contents, even after resubmitting it, my app was rejected. No, you didn't follow the instructions that Valve gave you. Valve didn't say, cover up the AI stuff. We are failing your build and will give you one opportunity to remove all content that you do not have rights to. Okay, so like... If I was a teacher, if I was a teacher conducting a class, and I gave the class a pop quiz to do, and I see one kid copying the kid next to him, and you know, maybe I, I go over and I take the test away from the kid, and I give him a fresh one, I say, don't cheat on this one. That doesn't mean be more sneaky the next time you cheat. That's a very loaded way to describe it, but they're saying remove the content. They're saying don't use AI-generated content at all, not get better at masking it okay anyway and continue here hello thank you for your patience as we reviewed game name here and took our time to better understand the ai tech used to create it again while we strive to ship most titles submitted to us we cannot ship games for which the developer does not have all of the necessary rights i'm not sure why they had this opening bit personally they they understand the ai tech fine the issue is the data set that's used to train it um at this time, we are declining to distribute your game since it's unclear if the underlying AI tech used to create the assets has sufficient rights to the training data. App credits are usually non-refundable, but we'd make an exception here and offer you a refund. Please confirm and we'll proceed. Okay, so, I mean, Valve is actually meeting this person halfway. You know, they're, they're meeting them halfway. They're saying, like, look, we're not going to ship you. We're not going to ship your game, but you know what? No hard feelings. We'll offer you a refund for the, for the application costs that you used. It took them over a week to provide this verdict. All previous games I've released have been approved within a day or two. Uh, this will probably be because whoever approves these, this stuff at Valve probably escalated this to be looked at by someone higher up, is my imagine. So it seems like Valve doesn't really have a standard approach to AI-generated games yet. That's a little bit of a stretch. I think they probably do have a policy, but for whatever reason, they decided that this particular case needed a little bit more of a review. I, I've worked in customer contact environments and it's very much a case of like most queries, if they're, if they're normal, 
you do just follow the regular pr process and you can deal with stuff pretty much straight away or within a couple days. But if for whatever reason you ever need to escalate something from, say, one part of the company to another, that can massively increase, like, contact times. So it's, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean they're making an, excep an exception or they're making things up as they go along. It just means that they needed it to be... Maybe they sent it to be reviewed by their legal department. Maybe they wanted to double check that they were doing the right thing before they came back to you. It, it, it could be anything like that. I've seen several games up that even explicitly mention the use of AI, but at the moment at least they seem wary and not willing to publish AI-generated content. So I guess for any other devs on here, be wary of that. I'll try itch.io and see if they have any issues with AI-generated games. Okay. Yeah, uh, at least as of a month ago, it looks like Valve is refusing to publish anything that was generated with AI-generated assets, specifically because of the data set that was used to train that AI. And I'm just going to look through some of the comments because there's a little bit of copium here. This can't possibly be sustainable for Steam. Steam got this far about AI-generated content. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm getting a refund, but I'll monitor Steam's stance on this as it feels like a really bad move on their part. And it's like they may eventually allow it as AI-generated art has yet to be considered copyright infringement in the US or Europe, if I recall correctly. They start to be okay. Yeah. It's a little bit of cope, in my opinion. But yeah, this is more reasonable. I personally agree with this comment here. Uh, in most of the world, including the US where Valve is based, violations of copyright are penalized in an absurdly harsh manner. A few thousand sales by Valve could result in liability that exceeds the value of the entire company. I disagree with Valve's position, but I can understand how they wouldn't want to bet the company on smaller games. Eventually, the issue of whether AI training data violates copyright will be resolved, but until then I expect many companies to follow Valve's direction. I know this isn't a popular stance, but we could just abolish copyright laws. Yeah, we should do that. That'd be pretty good. They just involuntarily launched a competitor. Oops. Yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah, we'll get we'll get a we'll get a Steam competitor for AI games. I'm sure that'll work out really well. Hey, let me just check out Epic Game Store and Origin and you play quickly. See how they're doing. <laughs> it, like the best competitor to Steam is GOG's uh, GOG Galaxy, and even then, that's like nowhere close. This is just said, hopefully when AI-generated content is ruled as transformative, they'll reverse this backwards policy. Yeah, so... I'm gonna make my stance on AI-generated content clear now. While I'm not naive to think that we'll ever completely do away with it, I have, uh, I have genuine concerns of the ethics behind the tech. Uh, for me, the capacity for harm massively outweighs any kind of benefits that it might have. So for, th for these guys here, so like I said, this is the this is the AI game dev subreddit, right? So these are smaller game devs. There may be people who don't have access to uh, a lot of resources. Maybe they don't have much of a budget. I get it, right? I get, you know, I, I I'm someone who's trying to make something in an online space with very limited means to me at the moment, I understand that you kind of have to make, you, you have to make ends meet however you can, right? You need to, you, you're trying to make something, maybe you can't afford a concept artist, or maybe you can't afford this or that. That's fine. I get that. But you guys at the Game Dev subreddit aren't the ones I'm worried about. I'm worried about the big companies that will use AI in development and in other creative enterprises to to do away with so-called pesky creative costs, right? Why should, you know, there, there are people right now who are saying, well, why should I pay writers? Why should I pay storyboard artists? Why should I pay artists? I can just get the computer to do all that for me. There are people out there that are chomping at the bit they're salivating at the idea that they don't have to pay anyone and they can just get ai to make things for them and then ship that Unfortunately, that's you know that's the the influence of <laughs> the uh the influence of capitalism in uh creative and entertainment industries luke gutchpern you criticize capitalism and you participated in it curious yeah i know um that's the concern there and the other thing as well is, as I'm sure anyone who's used Steam 
over the past 10 or 15 years can tell you there's a lot of shovelware on steam uh asset flips taking pre-baked assets bashing them together you call it something like hitler versus hentai and then you ship it and then you know what if like 10 people buy it you make a profit right imagine how much more shit there will be if you remove the human element from even making an asset flip if I can get a computer to just get some pre-baked assets, put them together, you can you can then automate the, the application process to Steam. Like, it would make the Steam approval process for games almost completely untenable. Um, until, I, I guess, like, the logical explanation there would be Steam would maybe use machine learning algorithms to then, as part of their vetting process, and then what happens is we're in some kind of fucking Black Mirror episode where you have AI making games that's submitted to AI that approves if it goes on the platform, and then, I, I don't know, then I guess you'd have AI writing reviews for it. It, it, it. There would be an entire platform of games that no one made that no one played, and that personally sounds like a fucking nightmare to me. Is that a cartoonish slippery slope argument? Yes, it is. But we've already started to see uh, machine learning algorithms that are training their data sets on content created by other machine learning algorithms. I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that that would be a logical outcome. What's notable here, though, is that there are actually some games actually already on Steam that were approved for sale that do use AI generated content. So uh, there's this one here. Uh, it's a game called Innkeeper's Basement. And it's a, uh, a, a roguelike card game. You know, you've seen these. Uh, it's currently in early access. Looks okay. It's got positive reviews. You know, 15 reviews. Um, and the developers themselves actually... Yeah, it, it's, it's a game of... Um, yeah, it's just a card game. And the developers themselves actually say all art in the game was AI generated. In the game that's currently for sale. Now, the the, devel the developers themselves haven't said that they intend to uh, review the art before the release. They're not saying they're using the AI to uh, as a kind of development placeholder. No, they just say all art was generated. Not counting placeholders. Oh. So, yeah, the, the assumption there, then, is that the, the AI-generated art is... Can we get some examples? Yeah. The AI generated art is intended to be sold as part of the final product. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my painkiller, my uh, bottle of Flanilia. Yep. What's going on with that book? Have they got a book inside of another book? Well, I, <laughs> what this person does have is three arms. So that's uh, that's the AI. Art working as intended, I guess. I I don't want to throw I don't want to throw too much shade at these devs because these guys here at Rebel Egg Games, I get it, right? You know, you're a small developer, you want to make a game. Art is expensive. I know art's expensive. You you know I've you know I've commissioned art for what I'm doing here, right? I get it. I do. I understand. Um. I'm going to go out and say all, all the art that you see featured on my channel and on my Twitch um, was commissioned with independent artists with the understanding that it would be used for commercial purposes. And I always clear with each of them ahead of time, you know, do you mind if I use this for a commercial purpose? They say yes. Um, <clears throat> if any weren't happy with that, then that's when you would get into a question of licensing, right? I, I get it. You know, you're making a card game. You need a lot of art assets for that card game. I understand. But you then get into the murky territory, which Valve mentioned, which is the the art that we see here was trained on a data set that was made up of existing art. Now, either the art that was used was copyrighted elsewhere or it was art that was posted up by users, maybe on uh, somewhere like ArtStation or DeviantArt or something like that. In which case, you have art being used to train datasets without the permissions of the people that created that art. 
And that's really one of the cruxes of the matter here, right? You know, it's not just the idea that AI could flood Steam. It's not just the fact that big companies could, um, could use it to replace creatives in the creation process. It's also just the fact that a lot of people who had their art used for these data training out, like to train these algorithms, didn't give permission for it to be used in that sense. Now, you know, of course, the, the companies that run the, these stuff, you know, like the company that runs DeviantArt, the company that runs ArtStation, I'm sure they can point to some piece of slimy small print in their terms conditions that says they're allowed to do that. I get that. I don't think that makes it okay. Um, so, yeah, while I think that using AI as part of a small indie game development is maybe the most... Uh, the most ethical use of the technology, I'm not convinced it's it outweighs the risks that AI generation of art assets poses to the rest of the industry as a whole. Um, and I think that even if Valve were to make an exception for smaller creators such as this, it would then be used by bigger studios, bigger publishers to make game development even more somehow even more of a hostile industri industry to to work in and we already see plenty of exploitation that happens in game development especially triple a game development you know we have developers that are worked into the ground are crunched constantly now add on to that use of ai tools to exploit them even further yeah no this ain't it chief so the fact that some ai uh some games that use AI uh, generated assets on Steam are already there. Hints to me it may be an issue of moderation. That being said, this was submitted uh, or this was released on the 29th of April. So it's entirely possible actually that this was just before Valve changed its content moderation policies. But at the end of the day, this is me just offering my opinion on the matter. So what do you think about AI generated assets on the Steam store? Do you think it's sustainable for Valve to not offer um, AI generated content on the platform. Um, did you like what I did with the video? Please drop a like. I want algorithm senpai to notice me. Um, and if you like what I'm doing, check out my, uh, Twitch channel, which, uh, is in the description and, uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you on the next one.